Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 3, Lesson 25, and this is a fairly uh, complicated lesson in, a, in its setup, in that we have to work through uh, the sieve of Eratosthenes first in order to uh, make this problem go, and we do that basically in class. The homework really is about thinking through prime and composite numbers all the way to 100 based on the work that we already completed in class. And there's a reproduction of that um, in the homework under uh, problem number one. I don't really have anything that I can work through with you tonight because um, it seems like the questions that are about this are really questions for you to consider, not problems to work out. And usually when I'm uh, on Mr. Kung Has Problems, what I'm here to help you do is to work through the types of problems that you'll be doing on your homework. And this one really doesn't have any straightforward types. It's really more of a thinking uh, set of homework where you have to think through each of these questions individually. And thinking through any one of those questions doesn't really help you think through the other questions particularly. So at the risk of disappointing you, I don't have any homework problems that I'm going to work through with you tonight. I encourage you to think through especially problem uh, questions two and three, which are sort of a pair of questions. What do all the numbers that are crossed out have in common? And what do all the circled numbers have in common? I encourage you to think deeply about both of those questions, because each of those questions, there's sort of a simple answer, and there's a more, uh, more in-depth answer if you considered all aspects of the numbers that you've either crossed out or circled. So I'll encourage you to just think through that more deeply, to write about it. As always, if you could write about it clearly and articulately, that's a really good indication that you actually understand what's going on in the underlying problems and questions. And I will ask you to come back again the next time for another more regular episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Thanks.